Hey guys, welcome back to my craft room. We have an incoming haul today. This is actually my second haul of the month, but the first one, I'm not sure if I'm going to share with you guys just because it ended badly. If you guys heard my rant the other day, <laughs> but this one, love it. Perfect. Came beautifully. <laughs> uh, I am really enjoying scrapbook.com. They have just some of the greatest stuff and great freebies. So, but something I did want to share real quick, they sent me a little pamphlet on some uh, cards for kindness that they are doing. I don't know if they're doing it recently or if they've done it before. Uh, I feel like I've heard the name before, but it might have been something else. I don't know. But basically, if you have 10 cards or more, you can uh, request a form from them and then send them to them uh, along with envelopes. So I'll make sure you have envelopes with that. Uh, and they have different charities that they can send the cards to. So a very good way if you don't have somewhere to send them already. It's a good way to share your artwork with some people that need some cheering up. Uh, there were quite a few freebies, so I'll go ahead and go through that first. We have a Pops which I only spent, I think it was like $12, including shipping. So it was pretty, I was excited. <laughs> That's the only reason I did place an order, because I was trying not to spend too much money. Uh, and it worked out beautifully. Uh, these beautiful pops of color in mint. I am so excited. I really loved playing around with the Nouveau. Uh, so I'm really excited to try this. And especially with that beautiful color, they had some Halloween stuff that I was so excited, but I just didn't have the budget for it, mainly because I spent so much on the other package that I had. Oh, <laughs> I wish I would have just not done that order with that other company and I would have just gotten this, like more of this uh, simple stories, which we'll go ahead and go to that first because I'm talking about this is the simple stories simple vintage October 31st all hallows eve and it is gorgeous it has my favorite like illustrative halloween black and orange feel to it and it has some different like definitions as well it is just gorgeous i love that book page feel and then also it comes with a beautiful buffalo check and then i went ahead and grabbed the stickers for it i was trying to spend you know less than 15 dollars and it was just so hard to decide what i was going to get because this collection is just like perfect for me but i just didn't have the funds so i'm like trying to figure out what i would love the most to work with so i decided on that paper and then also this uh, sticker sheet, which I could go for like five more of these. <laughs> these are just gorgeous. This collection is amazing. And I really wish I would have saved my budget for buying the whole collection of this. Because I just, I am in love. It is amazing. It's got that, you know, vintage -y style to it. That really deep orange and black. And it's got so many layering pieces to it. Like it's just a bunch of collaging. Kind of like, um, is it Chow Bella? That's it. It has that kind of style to it. All of the pieces just have that, that nice layering to it that like you don't even have to layer on top of it. It is just gorgeous on its own. And then another collection that I really loved, um, I got the ephemera for well, one of the ephemeras <laughs> and that's this fright night by um oh who is it oh photoplay <laughs> uh i really love that blue that's introduced into the halloween so i wanted to get this piece of paper at least uh because it is just gorgeous i again I wish I could get the whole collection of this one as well, because it's just amazing. 
I don't know. Hopefully it's on sale after the season and I can snatch it up because it is just gorgeous and I really wish I had more of it in my collection. It makes me happy. <laughs> on to the freebies. Of course, I said the pops um, or pops of color. There was also this uh, house shaker die and uh, that was free. They had another one like the week before and I was thinking about placing an order with, oh, it was an uh, embossing folder. And I was like, I don't really need the emboss embossing folder, but it's free. But then I ended up just not doing my order and then I waited till the next week and they had this as well still. And I was like, good, because this is what I really wanted. Just, you know, having a new house, I think it would be really cool to have the house die and do some different projects. I don't know yet what, but <laughs> I thought it would be cute, you know? <laughs> and then we have a freebie here, a six by six lawn fawn. Oh my gosh, I am just, mwah, a free six by six paper pad. How could I not? <laughs> this is the Sweater Weather Remix. It is pretty gorgeous, let me tell you. The colors. There are a few pages that like I probably wouldn't use, but there are some like this quilt that oh I am in love with. And then of course some basics, which how can you go wrong with some basics? Like the plaid. Some notebook paper. Ooh, look at that. That one I'm not too fond of. <laughs> that one's a little funky for me. That one's cute. I love that one. And then we have our repeats. So I would definitely, um, I probably wouldn't buy, you know, that. <laughs> so it's great that it was a freebie because then I can have something to play with that isn't really in my wheelhouse. So there is, I was going to say something, but I left the brain. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, that is my haul, my gorgeous haul. I thought I was going to say something about another um, collection that's out there that I was looking at. It must have left my brain. It was weird because it was like, uh, it was brought up in my brain with that. Yeah, it, it's gone. I don't know. <laughs> I was going to say something. Oh, doodle bug. Ah. <laughs> oh my gosh. There is a doodle bug collection that I really love too. And I just, ooh, I'm, I love it. And I'm so tempted to get it. I was just going to get the ephemera pieces. It was like two or three dollars, but it has like the little stationary feel to it like lined paper that has bats on it and stuff it is the cutest ephemera and it's one of those collections that I'm like oh so close to getting <laughs> so there's definitely a lot of uh Halloween stuff that I'm like gosh dang it <laughs> I really wish I would have just held out on the one order that I did from the one company and just you know got waited a few more weeks and then just gotten some of these other collections the simple stories the photo play and the doodle bug because <laughs> i am regret <laughs> but that is my little scrapbook.com haul mainly free stuff to be honest uh that six by six i was like i've got to do it <laughs> it's happening <laughs> but yeah <laughs> We'll see. I, I might fall into the, the temptation and just place another order. <laughs> it's just so tempting. <laughs> but are there any uh, collections that you guys are really loving this year? I felt like the Echo Park, or was it Cartabella? The Happy Haunting. That was a really good one for me this year, too. Oh, and apparently there was a Frank Garcia Prima that's like pretty much like last year's so I haven't really looked into it but I hear it's really good oh it's just 
so many good things. <laughs> Too many good things. But that is my haul. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Well, I showed you. I hope you guys are having a crazy day. Good crazy, not bad crazy. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.